Droid Nerds. Welcome to this week's edition of DroidNerds.com Weekly Wrap-Up. We hope you had a fantastic holiday weekend if you're in the United States and had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family, friends, food, football, shopping, sleeping, whatever else you might like to do in the holiday weekend. I know that uh, some of you probably had to get up at ridiculous early hours to appease the other half by going shopping and fighting other people for deals that only saved you a few dollars, maybe a few hundred dollars, and if that's the case, good for you, but that wasn't for me. I know I was uh, on the other end of that enjoying taking your money, because I'm in retail, and that's how we do it around here. Just the same, we're back, and we hope to see you again soon. So let's begin with the news. This week in the news, we had WOW Digital, which is assuming that's how you say it because it has two O's, not one O, W-O-O-W, so it must be WOW, correct me if I'm wrong, please. And apparently they're going after Keanu Reeves because they're having a new tablet called The One. It's going to be quite badass, too, actually. It's going to have a Tiger 2 processor in it. It's going to be running on Android 2.2 with a 1 gig onboard RAM, 16 gigs of flash storage. It's going to have Wi-Fi, uh, 3G, CDMA, Bluetooth, a 10-inch screen with 1024 by 600 resolution, and you should be able to pick up that bad boy for right around $500 this holiday season. So if you are looking for a stellar tablet this year, that is definitely one for you to be checking out. Um, Apple, surprise, surprise, has rejected something to do with Android in their app world. Apparently, they don't like the Android World Reader magazine um, because they declined it and said, no, you can't have that app in our app world. Now, when asked, which I suppose this really isn't surprising, to say the least, but when asked, why on earth would you not want Android in the app world, um, they simply said, and I quote, you know, your magazine, it's about Android, and we just can't have that in our app store. Go figure. Apple, see, this is why Android is premier, because it's open source, and you can have all the Apple stuff you want on our market, and we don't care, because, well, quite frankly, we know we have some superior product. Just saying. Anyways, sorry, Apple. You just have to be stuck up like that, I guess. What else? Uh, Sony Ericsson apparently is coming out with a PlayStation phone. Uh, it, it's supposed to be a go, but this is just from a tipster, so it's not official. It's said to have Bridia technology, and we're not sure if it's going to be able to support the normal PlayStation games on it for the PSP, but we're hoping. And we're not sure what it's going to be called. I'm assuming it'll be the PSP phone or the PSP phone or however you want to really pronounce that. I'm not exactly 100% on that. But the tipster said it should be around 500 bucks. Seems to be the magical number this week and coming out sometime in February. So look for that if you are a serious gamer who has to have a phone and a game all in one. I guess that's not too surprising either. Let's see. Uh, AT&T has had a leak on their Facebook ATT share page by one of their people. When asked about the Motorola Olympus, it was simply put, are you going to have the Motorola Olympus and let's find out about it. Well, somebody said, yeah, we're going to have it. It should be somewhere in December and January. Uh, check out our ATT.com page to see when it's going to be around. And I'm assuming that guy got in trouble. Hopefully he didn't lose your job, but definitely got in trouble because they quickly took that post down and uh, said it was proprietary information, to paraphrase and say the least. Sorry, dude, but thanks for the tip. We like that. ViewSonic is coming out with a new tablet with an interesting name, if I do say so. It's called the G-Tablet. Really, the G-Tablet? You think that was a good idea, the G-Tablet? Well, Office Depot thinks it's a great idea because it's going to be in Office Depot stores across the U.S. for a low, low price of $3.99. It does have some nice specs. It's got a 10-inch screen. It's running Froyo. It's got a 1.3 um, megapixel webcam and a Tegra 2 chip sporting it. It's got a mini HDMI port, a mini USB port, and a micro SD card slot. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and 1080p video playback. So, definitely nothing to shake a stick at, or whatever else you want to be shaking. Um, but, there you go. So, go check out your Office Depot store near you and pick up yourself a nice little tablet for the holidays. WinAmp has finally gotten out of beta! Woohoo! And this is exciting. 
uh, because now you can sync all your music and media right from your PC to your Android device over Wi-Fi. Quite the improvement there. Uh, the other thing, it's going to work with iTunes. So that's great for all you uh, people who have had iTunes for like eons ever since the first iPod came out and we had iTunes to originate with and you have a massive library of songs on there and you were holding off and holding off because you really wanted all those songs to go to your new device and for some reason you couldn't figure out how to do it beforehand just saying it was possible but now it's a lot easier for you so you have no excuses as to why you should keep your iPhone and not get an Android device so get up Stop watching and go get yourself one of these because you know you want one or else you wouldn't be watching this video in the first place. It's just my words of wisdom for the week. Uh, let's see. The Arcos tablets have finally gotten the Android 2.2 update to Froyo. This is great news. This is, has uh, some, some great improvements for it. It's got higher performance. It's going to allow the third-party applications to be downloaded onto the memory card itself. It will support external Bluetooth GPS. Um, it's also got that open VPN. It's got a faster USB writer transfer, battery improvements, and, and a lot of other exciting things. It's going to be across uh, most of the models of the different sizes. As some of you may know, the Arcos tabs have like a whole bunch of different sizes and models for you to choose from. So if you do have one of these tablets, you better go get that update. And I don't know what you're waiting for because Froyo is something to be reckoned with. Hopefully, they're going to make it so that you can have 2.3 or Honeycomb on there and really get it optimized. But nonetheless, the update is much needed. Uh, NVIDIA. You know, you've probably heard a lot about NVIDIA lately. The Tegra 2 processors have been out and about, and the chips have been running around, and they're great. <laughs> like, they're super awesome. But apparently, they're going to be old news because the Tegra 3 chips are almost done. This has come out from NVIDIA. The interesting thing about this, they actually also admiss admitted, excuse me, to the quad core coming out as well. So that two chip is like, pff, it's like a dinosaur already and it just got here. I guess that's how technology goes. As always, it's going to have more power and more performance, just what you need to be able to run your device smooth and fresh. So that's more power for your punch. And that's what we got this week. It's nice to see you guys back here at droidnerds.com where you can get all the best accessories for any Android device and of course all the great news. And check out our new how-tos on the devices which we're working on this week um, so you can know actually how to use your phone and not just look at it and say it's pretty. We'll see you guys next time.